there are at least two factors that influence the ionization of an oxo acid bond polarities which are affected by the electronegativity of the central nonmetallic atom and the stability of the conjugate base bond strength of the HO bond in the oxo acids is not a factor since this bond is present in all oxo acids an example of an oxo acid is chloric acid HClO3 as shown here we first work out chlorine's oxidation number or oxidation state let it be x hydrogen's oxidation number is positive 1 while oxygen's oxidation number is negative 2 we form an equation by adding up all the oxidation numbers of the atoms and equate them to zero since chloric acid is neutral. Thus, 1 minus 2 plus x minus 2 minus 2 equals zero. Solving for x, we get x is equal to positive 5. Oxidation number of an atom is a number obtained when we treat bonds in the species as ionic bonds regardless of whether they are really ionic or not. In this case, chloric acid is a covalent compound, not an ionic compound, but we shall pretend it is an ionic compound for a while. An oxidation number of positive 5 means that chlorine has lost 5 electrons. This means that it is sorely lacking in electrons. Next, we bring in the concept of electronegativity which is the ability of a chemically bonded atom to attract electrons towards itself. Oxygen is more electronegative than chlorine, so when they share electrons, oxygen pulls the shared or bonding electrons closer towards itself. This polar bond that arises may be denoted by a dipole moment pointing towards oxygen. If chlorine is bonded to only one oxygen atom and nothing else, Chlorine will be quite accommodating and allow oxygen to pull the bonding electrons away from itself. However, chlorine is bonded to not one, but three oxygen atoms. Of these, two are terminal or outermost oxygen atoms, which are colored pink here. Both draw the electron densities of shared electrons away from chlorine. Since these terminal oxygen atoms are hogging the shared electrons, they cause chlorine to be rather short of electron density. Both accounts, that is the oxidation state and bond polarity point to the same thing. Chlorine lacks electron density. This makes chlorine mad. To make up for its relative lack of electron density, it pulls towards itself the electron density of the electrons that it shares with the third oxygen, colored blue here. Now this third oxygen gets upset. It says to chlorine, Hey, who are you to draw electron density away from me? Don't you know who I am? I am oxygen, a highly electronegative atom. But chlorine doesn't back down. It turns out that the electronegativity value of an atom isn't always fixed and can change depending on the situation. The more oxygen atoms an atom is bonded to, the higher the atom's oxidation state. Being bonded to many oxygen atoms causes the atom, chlorine in this case, to be more electronegative than usual. This accounts for why chlorine is able to aggressively draw electron density away from this third oxygen. Realizing that it is unable to stop chlorine from pulling electron density away, the third oxygen looks elsewhere for a solution. To compensate for its relative lack of electron density, it resorts to drawing electron density from the electrons it shares with hydrogen. This leads to the electron density shifting much closer to this third oxygen. As the electron density near hydrogen thins, the HO bond becomes more polar. Since hydrogen is barely getting any share of electron density, it readily departs as H+, when some other polar molecule such as water is nearby. Without any hesitation, H+, breaks off and sticks to water's oxygen. In other words, the structure of chloric acid encourages its ionization. Conjugate base stability also accounts for chloric acid's ability to ionize. 
Once chloric acid loses its H+, it becomes the conjugate space chlorate anion. There isn't just one way to draw the Lewis structure of the chlorate anion. The different ways to draw them are called resonance structures, but none of them are totally accurate. Here are some of them. The first structure on the extreme left follows the octet rule. The atoms in the second structure from the left have not so ideal formal charges. The last three are equivalent structures that are the most favorable according to formal charge guidelines. If we disregard the first two and get a weighted average of the last three structures, we get the resonance hybrid in which the pi bonds are delocalized or spread over the three ClO bonds. The negative charge is also delocalized or spread over all three oxygen atoms. This is shown as each oxygen bearing one third of a negative charge. Alternatively, the negative charge may be written outside of the square brackets of the resonance hybrid. Therefore, chlorate ion, the conjugate base of chloric acid, is stabilized by charge delocalization. When the magnitude of the negative charge per oxygen atom is reduced in this manner, the charge approaches zero charge, and this makes the structure stable. Thus, chloric acid is very willing to lose its H+, as it looks forward to becoming its stable conjugate base. Now, not all oxoacids are as acidic as chloric acid, though. Some oxoacids are very acidic, while others are less so. To compare oxoacid strength, it is convenient to divide the oxoacids into two groups. We will start with the first group, oxoacids with different central atoms but are from the same group of the periodic table and have the same oxidation number. For example, let's compare chloric acid HClO3 with bromic acid HBrO3. Chloric acid is a stronger acid than bromic acid. Why? The explanation for the acidity of bromic acid is similar to that of chloric acid in most ways. Bromine also has an oxidation number of positive 5. When the two terminal oxygen atoms that are colored pink drag away the electron densities of the OBR bonds from bromine, bromine also compensates for its lack of electron density by using the same tactic on the oxygen that is colored blue. However, bromine being less electronegative than chlorine is less aggressive than chlorine in doing so. Herein lies the key difference. The oxygen colored blue is in turn less aggressive in drawing electron density away from the HO bond, that is, the HO bond in bromic acid is less polar than the HO bond in chloric acid. Although H plus also leaves bromic acid, it leaves less readily. This explains why chloric acid is more acidic than bromic acid. Thus, the high oxidation number of chlorine increases its electronegativity. This causes the HO bond to become more polar, which in turn makes H plus want leave. In addition, the conjugate space chlorate ion is rather stable due to charge delocalization. These factors make chloric acid a strong acid. Therefore, acid strength increases with increasing electronegativity of the central atom. 